guys, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm doing another Top 5 Wednesday. As always, the Goodreads group is in the description below if you want to check that out. And this week's topic is authors you're waiting on another book from, and these have to be authors who don't have a release date for their book, or the release date is like 2018, so like out there, um, and that we and or that we don't know a lot about what they're writing next, like what book is coming. Um, we don't have plot details for it, we don't have titles, that kind of stuff. Um, which eliminated a lot of the authors that I am, like, I really want their next book, but we know what the book is going to be, so. Like Marissa Meyer and Heartless <sighs> doesn't count because it's coming out. In November. And also I want to apologize for any weird background noises because the neighbors are having work done on their house and sorry I tried to pick the room furthest away from them but sound just carries. So my first author is Hester Brown who wrote the little lady agency books which I totally adore. She is a British chick lit author and kind of contemporary romance type stuff. I I love these I love her books they're such kind of quirky characters but they're also kind of these proper British ladies like they don't they aren't all titled but like the manners and stuff in these books are wonderful so I love the quirky plot scenarios that are happening like the little agency books are about the main character Melissa who starts uh, an agency to help gentlemen who need a girl in their life but don't have one so like kind of like being a girlfriend but not dating them so like dealing with the other parts of it like uh, escorting them to functions or helping them organize their closets or get a new wardrobe or um, help them become more organized like they're planning out their calendars that kind of stuff and I love that twist. The next author I have is RJ Palico or Palico or I don't know how to pronounce her name um, but she's the author of Wonder and this, it is the story of Augie, who is this child who was born with a deformed face, and he's about to start school for the first time in fifth grade. And he's super excited, but also really nervous because he is so incredibly different looking from everybody else. And it's about him making friends for the first time and having, you know, school experiences. And it's really inspiring. And so awesome. I seriously read it in one setting, like I didn't get up. So I want to know what else she comes up with, like what other characters she has or stories. And I know that she has companion books to wonder, but like I want to know something else, like something other than like pushing. I love Augie, but like I feel like she could have some really awesome characters in her head and I want to meet them. The next author I have is Meredith Russo, who wrote If I Was Your Girl. I really love this book. It is about a trans girl, Amanda, who has just transitioned and she's starting at a new high school where they don't know anything about her past. They don't know she used to be a boy. And I just, I love this whole, the way she writes it. I love Amanda as a character. Um, and I want to know what other stories she has in her head, like what other characters she has. Um, whether they're more stories about trans uh, youth or LGBT characters in general. Oh, but I just, so amazing this book that like I want to know what else I want more from her and I know she just released this book this year her debut book but like I still am like more please please more so my top two authors I was kind of going back and forth on which one I wanted more so these this order doesn't really mean anything um but I really want another book from Rainbow Rowell I have read Fangirl and Carry On and she has more books that I haven't read, which I need to do, but I still really love these characters and any other book she wants to rewrite, I will read it. I just love the world, like especially in Carry On, I love this whole world that she created with Simon and Baz and their relationship. Um, and Kath is also awesome in Fangirl and her complicated relationship with her family. And I don't know, they're just really fun reads and really engaging and just pull you in. So that is definitely the type of writing that I want more of. And then the last author I have is John Green. And I haven't even read all of these. So I have read An Abundance of Catherine's Paper Towns and I just finished Will Grayson, Will Grayson, which is why I think he made the list. Um, 
But this is another one where it's like quirky characters, crazy things happening. Um, it, it's relatable. This is real life. And I know people are like, oh, all his characters are kind of the same. And I don't, I don't care. <laughs> the plots are totally worth it. And I love those characters. I love geeky guys. So why not more of them? Um, so ta-da. So there are my top five authors that I want more books from. Let me know if you have read these authors also, if you love them or what your what authors you are patiently waiting on another book from. So peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.